Every time you save a document, Pages saves it as a new version. As a result of it, you can browse earlier versions, save a copy of it, or restore a document to an earlier version. You can also copy and paste text and objects from these earlier versions to the current one. Let's see how we can do all of that. To restore a previous version of a document, you have to open it first. We can use the same document as in the previous video. And now choose revert from the file menu and here select browse all versions. Once you press it, the window refreshes to show a thumbnail of a current version on the left and a stack of thumbnails of the previous versions on the right. Also a vertical timeline appears on the right side of the screen. To view earlier versions, click these ticks along the timeline or click the arrows next to the stack of document thumbnails. After you find the one you need, click on the thumbnail to view the version full size. If you want to restore this version, click restore below its thumbnail. A restored version will replace the current version, so be aware of that. If you are not sure that the old one is what you want and you don't want to lose any of your edits, you can save a copy of a previous version as a new document. It's as simple to do that as holding down the option key on your keyboard. You will notice that the button will change to restore a copy. Pages open the copy in the new window where you can edit it and save it with a new name. The original version also remains open in its own window so you are not risking to lose anything. Now let's go back to browse the versions because I want to show you some other things. Are you enjoying this video? I have created a complete mastering course with more than 100 video tutorials. Pages is really important app for every Mac user and if you want to find out all the hidden features, this course will be a great guide for you. Of course, for more information you will find a link in the description. But if you are really interested in the course, let me know in the comments below and I will give you a coupon for the best possible price on the market and also answer all of your questions. Very cool thing here is that even in this view, you can still edit the current version. You can click the thumbnail on the left, make your changes, then click done. But what is even more interesting is that you can actually copy something from these older versions into the newer one. So locate the version with the content you want to copy, then select the text or objects, whatever you want, and press Command C to copy. Or you can do right click and select copy. Now click where you want to place the content in the current document on the left and right click it again to select paste or use command B shortcut. It sounds complicated to work with these versions, but it's quite easy and it might come in handy. But if you really don't want to dive in this history of versions, you have few quick restore options. You can quickly revert to your last open or last saved version without even browsing all of these windows. Again. If you do that, be aware that this reverted version replaces the current version of your document. To keep the current version, save a copy before you do this. So let's open file menu again and in the same location, here under revert to, you should see other options like revert to last open or last saved. You might not see all of these options here all the time, it depends if you made the changes and the saves before. Anyway, if you select last opened. It will do the obvious. All changes you made to the document since you last opened it are deleted. And with last saved, it deletes all changes you made to the document since you last saved it. Note that if the document is shared with others, anyone with editing permission can copy and restore only the versions created after you shared the document. Anyone with the view only permissions has no access to these earlier versions to prevent others from restoring these unprotected versions of the document, stop sharing it with them, add a unique password to it and then share the document again 